G'day, I'm Professor Shane Maloney from the University of Western Australia in the School of Anatomy, Physiology and Human Biology. And a colleague and I are going to tell you about a physiology major in the new courses at UWA in 2012. Physiology is a fascinating discipline that teaches you how your body works. Have you ever wondered what goes wrong in people with diseases like diabetes, muscular dystrophy or heart failure? You ever wondered why it's harder to exercise on a hot day than it is on a cooler day? And how do your kidneys work to ensure that you've got just the right amount of fluid in the body? And what happens when they don't do their job properly? You'll find the answers to all of these questions when you do a physiology major at the University of Western Australia. You can study physiology as a degree specific major in the Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Philosophy with honours, or as a second major in any of the UWA bachelor's degrees. Physiology prepares students for professional degrees such as medicine, dentistry, audiology or pharmacy and provides a useful background for anyone interested in a career in the health sciences. Our graduates find employment in industries all over the world, working for biotech companies in local laboratories, doing research for international pharmaceuticals companies or even working as researchers at the Australian Institute of Sport. Knowing how your body works teaches you not only the nuts and bolts of physiology of the human body, but you learn general principles of complex organisation and control systems, attributes that are useful in any line of work. Your three-year physiology major will take you on a journey through basic biology in the first year, the general principles of cells, organs and organ systems in the second year, through to more in-depth study of cellular and integrated organ function in third year. If you achieve an average mark of 65% or higher in your third year, you'll be eligible to enhance your degree through the Honours Program. In your Honours year, you will undertake an original physiology research project into an issue important for human health or body function under the supervision of a world-class physiology researcher. Completing a major in physiology will significantly enhance your prospects of entry into postgraduate professional degrees, such as medicine, dentistry, podiatry, pharmacy, or audiology. There's growing demand for physiology graduates to investigate the actions of genes in the body and to translate the molecular biological revolution and the human genome project into meaningful therapies for disease. Opportunities exist for employment in government and commercial organisations, in science education and in a range of other areas. I'll now hand you over to another lecturer you'll see as part of your physiology major, Associate Professor Tony Backer. Thanks Shane. A major in physiology will provide you with a great deal of flexibility throughout your studies. You will be required to complete eight core units for a physiology major, leaving you with 16 other units to pursue your other interests, including another major. Of course, of this 16, there are some broadening and complementary units which will be need to be completed. In first year, you will take two biology units, one in each semester. In first semester, you can choose between either Human Biology 1, Becoming Human, or core concepts in biology. In the second semester, you can pick either human biology two, being human, or molecular biology of the cell. If you haven't done year 12 chemistry, then we will ask you to take the unit introductory chemistry to help you understand the fundamental principles that you will encounter in later years. In second year, you'll take the first semester unit, the physiology of human body systems where you will learn about the major human organ systems and how they operate to keep the body in a healthy state. Then in second semester, you will complete the unit Physiology of Cells, which explains how organs and tissues work at the cellular level, looking at how important nutrients such as glucose, fats and salts are moved within the body, how muscles work, and how the brain communicates electrically with the rest of the body using things called action potentials. In your third year, you will complete four core units which look at different aspects of human body function. In first semester, you will examine in more detail how cells control the distribution of energy and solutes in the body and take an in-depth look at the electrical communication and muscle function in the unit Physiology of Membranes, Muscles and Signaling. The other unit you will do in first semester is the Physiology of Cardiovascular and Respiratory Systems but show you how heart and lungs operate to keep the body alive and what happens when they fail. Look into any hospital intensive care unit and you will see machines that do the job these systems normally do. In second semester, you will complete the unit Physiology of Nutrition and Metabolism, where you will discover what makes up a well-balanced diet 
and how the body converts the energy in food to fuel that drives all physiological processes from membrane transport to body movement. The final unit you will undertake in second semester will be the physiology of integrated organ function, which will demonstrate how all the parts of the body are coordinated to achieve system homeostasis. In this unit, you will bring together knowledge from all the other units in your major to understand processes such as how we cope with exercise and what happens when you get fit, and what are some of the limits to human performance. You will also study how we sense the environment around us and how the body maintains internal homeostasis during changes to the external environment. We hope you found this video useful. We hope to see you all in physiology soon.